Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new plugin we're going to be using on the new server which will be locking our personal items such as chests, such as furnaces, all that kind of stuff. Now if you want to lock an item, you pretty much just put it down and I'll show you here. And it will automatically create a private chest for you which is kind of nice. Um, so you don't have to actually... Um, you know, go into it. So if I want to, um, you don't have to actually type the command, should I say, to actually lock it. However, if this doesn't automatically create one for you, if it says created a private chest successfully, if it doesn't say that, all you need to do is type slash LWC and this will come up. Now it doesn't show all the commands, so you've got to press T to bring up your chat log and you will see all the commands. Now the, the ones that you will be interested in are the top ones. Now, if you want to make a chest private, you have your cursor on the um, actual item, and then you just type slash C private, and it will basically do that for you. It say, please left click the block you want to um, basically lock. So I'm going to left click that, and but it says I've already registered it because, of course, it automatically locked for me. Now, if you want to make it public, you just do slash um, C public and then actually um, create this and it'll create a public protection where um, people can make a public chest so people can actually just go and use it. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. so C password is probably one that you, you guys will use a lot. And the reason for this is because if you're building together with someone else, um, lock it, only one person could really lock a chest. Um, so it was very difficult to, um, you know, customize really, and it was very ugly as well. Uh, having signs all over the place was very annoying. Um, but with this, all you need to do is do slash c password, and then the actual password for the chest, which I'm just going to say pass, and then hit and, and say left click the block. So I'm going to left click that, um, but it says I've already registered it simply because it's already registered. Um, but if you want to basically add a password, you would have to um, you have to remove the protection. So you do c remove and then punch the block you want to remove so remove the lock on this chest so now we can do slash um, C password and then add the pass and then left click this and for convenience sake you do not have to enter the password until the next login so I um, ha will have to enter my password which was pass and um, the next time I log in um, but then you don't have to add it again for that session so that's quite cool and that way if you give your friend the password you can whisper them so I'm just going to do um, slash msg <laughs> rookie and then the pass word is pass and basically there we go to um, noob I actually renamed him noob um, the password is pass so now he can go up to this chest and actually type in the password so let's do that so here we are guys we're on rookie now and we're going to go to the, this I'm going to left click it Oh, so it gives me the command to actually unlock it. So I'm going to type slash C unlock and then the password which is pass and then password accepted and then now I can right click and actually open it and put items in. So that is how you actually use the new lock it command. It's a very nice um, plugin, it's very neat and it's very simple to use. Um, generally you will want to protect your own items so it automatically generates a protection for you. Now the only people that can get into your items is um, basic admin so that would be me and Rookie. Uh, but you guys know how we are so you know we don't go in and take your items and whatnot. And um, moderators are allowed to look inside your chest just in case you are harboring um, griefing items such as 10 buckets of lava or something like that so we can actually see what you guys are actually keeping but they cannot edit your items and then of course members just get the normal protection to create their own protections and of course um, edit their own protections so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm really excited about the server it's going to be up very soon um, I'm just basically finalizing these plugins as you can see today I've um, already done the um, LWC plugin um, later on I'm going to be um, configuring um, the other configurations for the plugins, it, it's quite a big job, but hopefully by the end of today, everything will be done, and then I can invite maybe one or two people on to fully test the server, the commands and everything, um, and then we can basically move on. Now, one thing to note, because everyone's um, chest is actually protected at the minute we've locked it, 
we won't have Lockett on the new server, so everyone's chest will be exposed. Now, there's two ways to actually um, combat this. One, I can allow one person at a time onto the server so they can go and actually lock their own chest before everyone gets on. Or, I can actually lock everyone's chests myself. And then when they come on, I can actually give the protection permission to them. So I can basically give them ownership of that chest. I think I might go with the um, ownership part. It's just going to be a lot easier and a lot faster. And um, I think people will generally go lock their own chests anyways. Um, but definitely make sure you do lock them. And the commands are extremely easy to use and of course extremely easy um, just in general. So it's a very good plugin. So guys, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, and if you want to come on the server yourself, there's a link in the description with the website address. Go to the website address, register, and then go to the form section under rules and IP. You will see the IP there. Type the IP in and uh, basically come on. So guys, thank you very much and I will catch you in the next episode. Peace out.